By the end of this lesson, you'll be familiar with the one-drop reggae drum beat. Coming up. Hi, my name is Kevin Zahner and welcome to Rhythm Notes, a channel with a lot of videos about conga drumming, drum set, and other popular percussion. And if you want free lesson PDFs, subscribe to our newsletter, Rhythm Insider, at rhythminsider.com. You'll get a free gift when you confirm your subscription. I grew up listening to Bob Marley albums from my older brother's collection, but I never thought it would influence me as much as it did. There's something about the simplicity of the reggae drum beat and the space that the groove provides that's very appealing to me. So this video dives into some basics about one of the primary reggae drum beat styles called the one drop. The one drop beat is probably the most recognizable style for reggae music. It's a very different way to accent the backbeat of the groove because it uses the kick drum in place of the snare. Uh, many popular songs from the United States, you'll, you'll hear the snare drum on beats two and four with the kick on beats one and three, or, or, or sometimes the snare is on beat three for a halftime feel. The one drop flips this concept and puts the kick drum on beat three or beat two and four. So in the following examples, we'll focus on the halftime feel of the one drop with the kick drum on beat three, much like this legendary song. In each example, you'll notice a hi-hat variation, and the, in the last example includes a snare cross-stick variation. If you're getting value out of this video, hit that like button and please share it with someone who you think will also get value out of it. Let's talk about the two techniques that are critical to sounding good while playing the one drop. The first one is the hi-hat accented and unaccented strokes. The accents are played on the upbeat of two and four with the shoulder of the stick on the edge of the hi-hat cymbals. The unaccented strokes are on beats one and three and are played with the tip of the stick on the top of the cymbal. This technique will bring clarity to your reggae beats. The other technique is the cross stick on the snare drum. This stroke is played with the kick drum in the first few examples, and you're basically trying to get a knock sound from the stick and the rim. So pinch your stick at the fulcrum and rest your hand and stick on the drum head with your fingers relaxed on the head. Raise the stick up while keeping the end of it on the drum head and execute the stroke by striking the rim and leaving the stick in place. Make adjustments to the striking surface of the stick and, and find the sound that you like. There, 
there is a sweet spot that you'll find by adjusting uh, you know, which part of the stick you strike the rim. So just play around with it and find the sound that you like. This example includes a hi-hat variation. To get the full clarity of this hi-hat rhythm, make sure you differentiate the accented and unaccented strokes. If you want more information on reggae drumming, search Google for rhythm notes and reggae drumming, as well as anything else drumming related you might be interested in. A lot of reggae beats have a swing feel, and in general, swing has a wide range of interpretation in terms of how much space is in between the strokes, but for developing swing, it's best to use a triplet interpretation. This variation basically shuffles the eighth notes from example two, but you could add more swung eighth notes uh, to fill out the bar if you'd like. Now speaking of filling out the bar, try this hi-hat variation with straight eighths and try swinging them too as I suggested in the previous example. This last example includes acrostic variation that you can try, and it's just one idea. These, these sorts of ideas you'll pick up as you listen to reggae drummers on some, some of the hit and uh, more popular songs, but you know, try this one and you'll get the kind of feel for how that syncopation on the, on the acrostic fits with the hi-hat. If you like this video and you want to watch more, check out this one suggested to you by YouTube and check out this one suggested to you by Rhythm Notes. Please subscribe so we can help you level up your drumming today and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.